All right, so we're back at our Sea Star. This thing has seen better days. Uh, it's got some pieces missing, skin's fallen off. Well, the Echinoderm equivalent of skin. Uh, one thing to mention is Echinoderms have oral versus aboral ends. Oral is where the mouth is, aboral is where it's not, the opposite end, uh, usually the anus. So in this case, we're looking at the aboral end of the Sea Star because the mouth is on the underside, which that makes that the oral end. Uh, so we first mentioned the madreporite, seen there. It's where water enters. Uh, into the system and then we have this water flows throughout the system so there's structures in place to allow for this to happen we'll look at one in a little bit later on but that's there um, but let's first look at some gonads uh, and not gonads sorry the stomach so these things like to eat uh, and if you've ever seen a good video of an echinoderm eating or if you haven't seen one then you should get on it and if you have you know these things can be just monsters uh, so the stomach is actually found right there. So it's this little pink region. I've ripped some of it out, but it would encompass this entire top end. And it makes sense. It's right there above the mouth where the food's gonna come in through the esophagus, into the stomach, and then get broken down. Uh, now what's pretty interesting is these things go pretty crazy with some of the digestive glands. Each arm of their, each part of their arm has a pair of digestive glands. Uh, so let's see if we can find that marker. Uh, well, I guess for lack of a better term, intestines is going to work. Uh, so intestines, eh, okay, that's fine. Uh, digestive glands, you know, kind of works too. Yeah, just digestive stuff. Uh, and that's this here. So this here. This is the intestines. Well, the digestive part. Uh, and also you can look over here. And so I ripped out some of them. But that's it. And that will connect up with the stomach, obviously, because it's part of the digestive tract, right? And then break down and process the food. So these things love to eat and love to break down eating, which is pretty cool. I'm a big eating fan, too. So, hey, me and the Sea Star, we got a lot in common. Uh, so, okay, that's cool. Let's see what else we got. Uh, let's look at some other structures. So let's go back to that, that water vascular system. And so we have uh, this ridge here, the ambulacral ridge. And that's this little structure here. So that's it. So we can get a little closer. Try not to touch the phone to the Sea Star. Uh, but yeah, there we go. There's that ambulacral ridge. Uh, it's actually kind of cool. If you touch it, it has like a rib structure to it. So it kind of makes noises. I can't like make it make the noise loud enough, but it's a cool structure. It's kind of tough. Uh, so there's that thing. And it covers a radial canal, which is found uh, in this region. Now, radial canals help bring, you know, water through that area to help supply the, um, the the tube feet. So keep them things going, doing what they need to do. So they help with that, the radial canal. So it's found within that region. Uh, and so it's found just inside of, of this area. So it's kind of underneath all of this business. So the radial canal, it's it's essentially in this area. Uh, and it helps pump in water from the madreporite that comes in through a different canal into the radial canal. And the ambulacral ridge is kind of on top of that. And then off to the side, we have ampullae, which I don't have a thing for. Well, that's sad. Uh, well, let me get one on the spot. This is my blank marker. So the ampullae, these are structures on top of the tube feet. So I mean, I guess we'll call it tube feet. Why not? Uh, when in Rome, let's improv. So tube feet, the tops of them via the ampullae are right in this area. So it connects to those, dries them suckers, allows them to move. They do that via water they receive from the radial canal, which comes into the sea star via the madreporite. So bam, there we go. Down inside of the area. It's kind of mushy stuff. Uh, normally on sea stars you can find gonads. These are kind of small. I didn't really see any, so we're not going to worry about that one. Uh, but they would be fine. I found if there was any, like off to the side down there. Um, and I can't, you know, one way or the other confirm I see any, so we're not going to we're going to mess with that one. Okay, so we have the tube feet, uh, radial canal, ambulacral ridge. Okay, let's take out the stomach. So just ripping that thing out. Come on, stomach, get out of town. Uh, and if you look over, you can see I'm st we're starting to uncover a ring-like structure. Hey, now, getting into some rings. Uh, I'd like to, well, probably going to rip out the magic pore, right? Oh, well. Uh, let me get some scissors. 
Turns out the stomach doesn't want to be ripped out of this thing's body. Who knew? Uh, come on now. Cut! Okay, as we're cutting right along, trying to move some of this garbage out of here. Uh, well, not really. It's not garbage fierce. It kind of do them. Uh, but okay. All right. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Uh, and so here we go. Oh, well, wait. Okay. So we got some good stuff here. Uh, so proud. So let's see. I'm looking in there. Neato. All right. So this ring-like structure is the ring canal. And so water comes into the madrepore, enters into something called the stone canal, which you can kind of see as this line here. Stone canal. Comes in. Yeah. Comes in. Uh, and you don't have to know the stone canal. Don't worry about it. It's just there. Uh, but it comes in and hinders the central canal. Ba-bam. Here. And then from the central canal, it'll disperse out into the radial canal and then fund the tube feet with water so they can, you know, move and do their thing. So central canal there. Within this area down in there would be where the, the mouth was and everything. So that's kind of cool. It's like a little, little carrying thing. That's neat. Okay. Uh, and then something I didn't mention earlier is the central disc. So that's this, this main pivot point where the arms branch off of, so this area. So you can kind of think about it as the area where, you know, the central canal is found, the stomach's found, the mouth's going to be found, the madrepori will be found. Uh, and this is usually what needs to be retained in some capacity for a sea star to regenerate. If it just has like a broken piece of an arm, like, like that part forward, probably not going to regenerate. But if it has at least a part of that canal to it, it can regenerate over time. Uh, but yeah, that's enough for the sea star, I think, for now. Uh, we'll let this thing uh, have a bit of moment. And then we'll, we'll move on. So we'll hit you up with the sea urchin and the sea cucumber coming up next. Uh, oh, I don't know if anybody's ever had a sea star experience. Uh, when I first went to the beach as a kid, I caught one. And it was cool. I had it for a very long time. It had one of its little arms missing. Uh, so I guess it got into a little bit of a scrimmage. Uh, so I was thinking about that sea star when I, you know, cut these things open. It was kind of crunchy. I put it into a bucket. I also put a jellyfish in the bucket and got stung by one. Uh, but that's a different story for a different day, I suppose. It didn't feel great. Uh, but yeah, little sea stars. They're kind of fun. It's also kind of unnerving if you watch time-lapse videos of them on the internet, like moving around on the seafloor. It's super weird and super creepy, and some of them are massive. Uh, but these are kind of cute. I like this one. You know, it kind of reminds me of that one from the, the Nemo movie thing uh, that hangs out in the fish tank. It's like the watcher and looks over everything, reports to people, which is kind of unusual because they don't have eyes. Uh, so, but that one does... It's near her mouth, which I guess makes sense. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is a Nemo starfish. With well, its back ripped off and stomach ripped out. Here's the oral end. That's still intact. All right, that's enough of that. Boom.